Hi everyone, welcome back to K Digital Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use custom fonts on your iPad. So let's get started. So to install my customized fonts, the tools that I'll be using today is my iPad 6th generation, my first generation Apple Pencil, and then this app called iFonts. This app, iFonts, is available in the Apple Store, and it is free, so I totally recommend this app. So the websites I use to download my custom fonts is called dafont.com, and is a website I've mentioned previously in my other videos that I've received quite a few questions on. And this website is really handy because there's so many fonts that they're adding each day from different designers. And so this is the landing page of recently added fonts to the website. One of my favorite categories to go under is actually script and handwritten because I like the handwritten look. You can also use the search feature to find a specific designer if you follow any. So I'm just going to scroll through and see any fonts I might want to download. And if you see right here in the corner, it'll tell you um, some information about the font. Free for personal use and 100% free, free for personal use, and then demo. So demo, you won't receive the entire font. So if you go to try and type with a font, um, it'll only have some of the letters, whereas free, for personal use means that you can't sell the font or use it in anything that you sell. And 100% free means essentially you can do whatever you want with it um, per the designer's um, copyright and rules and regulations. And usually these fonts will come with two different files, the actual font itself and then the designer's terms and conditions for the font. So I'm going to download this font. Um, I really like the way it looks. It kind of looks pretty similar to my handwriting. Um, so I think I'll download uh, this one right here. So I'm going to click the download button and note that it says 100% free. So I'm going to click download. And then if you have the new iPad iOS update, it's going to pop up this little box. Do you want to download this handwriting .zip file? And then I'm going to click download. And then as you can see right here in the top right corner, there's a little down arrow. If you download anything from the Safari browser, this download arrow will pop up. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to actually click directly on my downloaded file. So once you click on the downloaded file, it'll uh, pull it up in your iCloud Files app if you have it downloaded onto your iPad. And as you can see, it pops up as a zip file. And with the new iPad OS, iPad iOS update, it'll unzip files for you with just a simple tap. So I tapped it. And then here is that font file right here. And I'm actually gonna click directly on the font file. And then it gives me a demo of the font itself. And then I'm gonna come up here to this up arrow in the top right corner. And then here's all the options for what you can do with the font. Now, I don't actually see iFont here, so I'm gonna keep scrolling over and click the three little dots for more options. And then I'm going to scroll down and click Copy to iFont. iFont is pretty easy to use in that it kind of gives you instructions as you go. So, Whenever I clicked import to iFont or copy to iFont, it didn't look like it did anything, but it did. Down here in the files, you'll see a one notification icon, and that means that I imported one um, .ttf, the true font file format, to this app. So I'll click that. And then you'll have to scroll to find the font that was imported. And so it starts with an H, so it's a little farther down the list. And then you'll click this install button. And then it's going to pull up this weird little pop-up, which don't even worry, it's all cool. You'll hit allow and then close. So then it tells us to go to the settings app if we want to install it. So I'm going to close this 
and then actually go into my settings app on the iPad. Then you'll see this little pop-up on your iPad called Profile Downloaded, and you'll click this, and then you'll get this pop-up to download the font onto your iPad, for which you'll then click Install in the top right corner. And then if you have a passcode, you'll type that in, and then click Install once more. And then now it's installed on your iPad. So if you've installed multiple fonts before, you'll be able to see all the fonts that you downloaded here in your profile section, which is found under the general category in your settings. So now we have the font downloaded onto our iPad, and that means that any app that makes use of fonts will be able to use that font. So this is left over from a video I did previously where I show you how to make your own digital planner or digital notebook templates. And so I showed you a font that I really enjoy that I got from Defont called Unicorn Flakes. Um, I had a lot of questions about how to use and import these customized fonts. So hopefully this video was helpful. But I'm going through to show you um, that you can now make use of the font. So I'm gonna pull in the text feature in Keynote and I'm going to type my new font. Then I'm gonna go up here to the paintbrush, go into the fonts category. And then here is my new imported font. And there you have it. This also allows you to make use of the fonts in GoodNotes. So I'm gonna type in text and select it all and search for the new font that I imported. So there's the new font that I imported and downloaded from the font. And there we have it. So downloading these fonts are useful if you want to customize your experience in Keynote or GoodNote. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any video requests, be sure to comment those down below and I'll be sure to consider them. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you will get notified whenever I upload new videos. And don't forget to thumbs up this video and share with all your friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until our next video.